I see. So that's going to be interesting, a uh, team comp, because I don't know what Rachel uh, plays. Yeah, well, I guess we're about to find out right now. But it's pretty cool. Nice to see, uh, you know, the girl team coming up. Um, don't see too many of them, but it's pretty cool. I love the diversity in Smash nowadays. Like, it's pretty awesome. Definitely. Ooh. You know, speaking of diversity, I feel like it's definitely gotten so much better. Uh, Smash Sisters has really helped put that work in for creating basically the name out there. Like, hey guys, like we have something for you. Inviting more people to come and check it out. And it's adding to the diversity of the community. And I think that's such a great idea, especially within the fighting game community, that more females are getting involved. Very random, but I, I hope one day we do. Like, if we ever find, like, you know, species on other planets. I hope that they like go, they say they want to play Smash too, you know, whatever language they speak. I you hope. know, funny yeah. that you say that when you mention, yo, you have like people coming in from all around the world, Mars and stuff. I'm like, imagine you find aliens that play Smash Brothers come and you're like, hey, we're here to take over your top player. <laughs> <laughs> and rank number five on the PGR. Wow. <laughs> all right, well, here we are starting with match number one. It looks like Ray Chow plays Toon Link. Interesting. Very good choice of a character. Um, very underrated character, actually. So. Oh, and the cat going for the crazy edge guard off the stage already. So we're actually seeing Fox opt to go for Mars instead of Corrin, and I think it's really interesting because, as you know, of all people, <laughs> Fox <laughs> does uh, Fox does play a lot of Mars with balls. So it's be really interesting to see. Yeah, uh, but I know the reason, the main reason that uh, the cat goes nest, that back throw is ridiculous. Also, um, Sheik has one of the best follow-up combos, so back throw or up throw into Ness's up, up air. air. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. But that back throw being able to KO without actually having to throw an attack is really good. Yeah, I definitely feel like Ness's up air is a force not to reckon with. Nice fair. Wow, and they took a stock off both players already. This is looking really tough for Ray Chow and Fox. But maybe they'll be able to bring it back. Oh my Fox goodness. in a really scary position right now, and the cat just following Fox around. Back air. Uh, possibly should be able to up the and recover. But has to watch out for Ness's PK That was thunder. so scary. That was a very scary situation, but Fox did play patient there, waiting for the PK closer to finish. She's playing very much on the edge, but I think it's still a good idea, as long as she can avoid the back throw from Ness. I feel like he's going to look for it real soon. Well, unfortunately, Ray Chow misses the grab there. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, nice combo coming out from Ray Chow. Able to bomb the bear. Get another one near the ledge. Might be a KO. But the bear is stale just a little bit now. And there's that up air follow up that you mentioned earlier from Void and the cat. Oh, Ray Chow definitely needs to help, help out her partner. Up air. This is it. So Rachel's kind of picking up on the whole uh, team combo, team grab combo situation going on. So she was opting to air dodge instead. Ooh, that was actually very nice by Rachel getting that tech and then doing the up B going outwards to possibly get the KO on this, but not did not get the last hit with it. Back throw is gonna be a KO. Have to watch out Toon Link too. Okay, good. Good choice to actually. Um, I, don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say good choice. Good choice to taking the stock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good choice to take the stock, but right afterwards uh, the Toon Link died, so now it's just gonna be a two v one. Great choice for Fox to opt to get that legend invincibility, but be careful with that re-grab. Wow, that yo-yo was not gonna hit the ledge there. He was too close. Okay, and it looks like they're gonna get some recovery. Oh, yeah. okay, that is a thing, most definitely. The whole recovering yourself from Sheik's upbeat. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that you see it because um, it takes so long. Yeah, it takes so long. You mainly see it after like two people get KO'd or after there's only it's a two v one. Yeah, but once it gets to that situation, that's where it's tough and it's almost near impossible to actually close out that two v one. Yeah, because you know you're constantly re regenerating. Yeah, so like you have to be aggressive. You can't be defensive at all because they could just regenerate every single time. Uh, will we see the same characters? I feel like we will. I guess Fox has been picking up uh, Marth a lot. Do uh, False plays Marth, or has yeah. been playing more Marth than Sheik nowadays. So I guess she also picked up Marth. Good choice. One, go. All right, here we go. We're going back to Smashville. Oh my goodness, and that Bouncing Fish conversion from Ness's down throw. That was pretty interesting, actually. Really great awareness. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> that up <upbeat> almost <laughs> like, Oh my gosh, their combos are very on point right now. I can see why these guys often place top eight at majors. CLG. CLG. <laughs> nice combo coming out from Ray Chow, but did get a little bit of friendly oh, fire. And he aims it straight up to make sure he catches Rachel's approach option to get back onto the stage. Wow. Boy looking for that up air. There's not too much that she can do oh as my goodness. option. 
<laughs> oh no, no, no. I no. feel like I'm watching an elevator. Like, I, I feel like Ness and Sheik are an elevator and they're just carrying the opponent up, up, up until they can't get in the world. Yeah. Oh my goodness. These combos are crazy. Every time they get one grab on the opponent, it's usually like a trade between, like, five times between each other. They need to just help out each other a little bit more. Um, it seems like the Void and the Cat will hit the opponent away and then be able to... Look at these combos! I'm telling you, it looks like an elevator. They just keep elevating them. Oh my goodness. Elevate? Elevate? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Um, but what you mentioned earlier, most definitely, I want to see Blue Team uh, kind of concentrate more on their team synergy and trying to follow up from each other rather than Red Team splitting them up because it seems like they're more at a disadvantage when they are split up like that. Oh my gosh, the back row now, there. Yes, they are at a huge disadvantage. So let's see this time around. Maybe they're going to figure out the uh, combos. Oh, for example, right there, there was one-on-ones going on, so Nakat wasn't able to follow up. So even if you're just doing one-on-ones, that makes it better so the combos aren't coming out so crazy from that. Ooh, Rage out, keeping a lot of pressure on the cat. Looking for that up smash. Maybe if you do a charge up smash, you should be able to get the KO. Oh, and it looks like Fox is dead. Oh no. It's going to be a really hard 2 we want to get, make it back from. Yeah, those combos were next level on, on this match. This might actually be a 6 stock coming out from Void and Cat. So Rage out, making it back to the stage. They really need to watch out being above Ness specifically because of up air. Oh, oh, nice. But then, as I said that, being below Ness off stage is also not a good idea. Yeah. And it looks like Void and Cat do take that with a six stock on that one. But good stuff to them.